Here we're going to be doing selection sort 1 and selection sort 2. First we're going to be going through selection sort 1. In our selection sort method, we previously coded it in a chapter 13 example. And what happened was we had two loops in here and outside of the inner loop was a swap method. So basically when we have our outer for loop, it's going over all of the indexes of the array. But in the inner loop, it's also going over the indexes in the array. First, we take the first index right here, index zero, and we're setting our current smallest to zero. Now we go inner for loop, and we are going to see if our next index value is greater than or less than our zeroth index value for this example. If it's less than, the new smallest is going to be this index and it's going to run through the entire array list and after it's run through the entire list it's found its smallest and what it's going to do is going to go into the swap method and it's going to swap that smallest value with our zeroth index and it's our first one is going to look like this in our second pass we're going to have now that x is equal to one so our smallest is equal to one in this for loop, we have a y value, which is going to be incremented up every single time this loop runs. And inside of here, we have an if statement. And basically, we're going to be comparing all of these values with our current next smallest value. And we're going to do the same thing where we store that in our smallest int. And then we are going to go into our swap method and swap the two values. This was our pass for one right here. Our second smallest value is three. And so this is gonna swap with 17. If we swap those, it's going to look like this. Now in our third pass, we are going to find the next smallest value and swap it with our third index. Copying our code from pass two, and now we have our value eight, and we can just cut this, paste it where our 17 should be, cut our 17, and then paste it where our eight should have been add a comma and run it and that is our selection sort one in our selection sort two we have basically the exact same problem just with different numbers so in doing this exercise again we have these values which we can print in our pass one like this and remember for selection sorting what we're doing is we are taking we are finding our we are finding the smallest value in our parameter and we are swapping that with whatever current index we're looking at we start with the smallest index which is zero and then we work our way up to the one two three four until we reach the end when we run through this we're basically in this for loop right here and our if statement is deciding which is our smaller value and our swap method is going to swap currently our one value with 23. After we swap one and 23, we get that that is correct. So we can copy and paste uh, pass two down here. And we are going to run through this again. And after we run through it, we're going to see that 11 is our next smallest value. And we are just going to swap that with 16. If we copy the pass two down to pass three, we have to run through this code again but we see that 16 is our next smallest value and it's where it should be so we can just submit it like this and it's our correct answer